Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, October 21, 2020, and just wanted to go over today's lesson. Today's lesson um, had us working with the 6.22 activity. Here's where you can find it um, right here, week of October 19, 23. Um, just make sure that you type your first and last name so we know fully who you are. And so you'll want to open this activity because this is where we did all the work today on Zoom. And this is where your homework will be due Friday. Um, got a lot of things to do on the agenda, but really, um, really what we're talking about is um, this lesson today. So first of all, a hungry professor patio shows you what's inside his bag of trail mix on the right so here's the bag of trail mix on the right okay it has peanuts and raisins he shows you how many peanuts and raisins still remain he must have been eating some peanuts and raisins so question number 1a what portion of the bag is raisins well we know there's one raisin here two raisins here so we know it's two out of something Ah, but we also still have to count the total. We have to count everything in everything that's left over in the bag. So if we count everything that's left over in the bag, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight total. So what portion of the bag is raisins? Well, it's two out of eight. Two out of eight of the bag is raisins. I've also seen people say two eights is raisins. Okay, so um, those are two ways to write the answer. How did you figure out your answer to 1A? You could talk about how you counted the raisins and then you counted everything. So that's, that's just one way to talk about the answer, okay? So what portion of the bag is raisins? It's two eights, all right? Um, so that was the do now. And we started off by talking about the many ways to say hello. So for example, talofa in Samoan, that's one way to say hello. Hola in Spanish, another way to say hello. Ni hao in Chinese, and como esta in Tagalog. These are four, just four ways to say hello. Similar to this is that there are many ways to express a portion. And a portion is just a fancy word for part, a part of something. For example, your fingers are a portion of your hand. Your fingers are a part of your hand, okay? Um, when we talk about portions, fractions, decimals, percents are three different ways to express a portion. Let's talk about shopping. For example, you go. what if you go shopping and you see something for 50 percent off okay what we're really what we're really talking about when we're talking about 50 percent off is that you can take a portion of the price and take it off okay now 50 percent off is the same thing as half off imagine taking away a portion a half portion out of the price okay so for example if we have an eight dollar mug and it's half off you would only pay how much you would only pay four dollars because you're taking half of the eight dollars off okay so also we can talk about 0 0.50 off and all three of these ideas are equal okay so there are three ways many ways to express a portion and we just talked about three of those ways fractions decimals and percents so this lesson was about representing portions as fractions and percents also in class we talked about um, how percents this word percent is made of two words it's made of the word per which means for every or out of and the word cent, which means 100. So when you put per and cent together, it means for every 100 
or out of 100. Now, oops. What does percent mean? Percent means for every 100 or out of 100. So for example, 65% of San Francisco's homeless population have been homeless for more than a year, according to a source. We then talked about, pardon me here, I'm just gonna clean this up. We then talked about um, different this, I mean, we talked about this idea of going from fractions to percents. I think it would help us if we just bring it back to what it will look like before class started. So for example, over here, if we have 14 out of 100, how many percent is that? This is equal to what percent? And so students typed in chat that, hey, it's 14%. Remember, percent means that of 100, OK? Then we had 95%. 95% is what fraction? It was 95 out of 100. The last thing we talked about was, wait a minute, if you have 11 out of 50, how many percent is that? And so this one was a tougher problem, but the way our classmates solved it was the following. If you take this numerator and you multiply it by two, and you take this denominator and you multiply it by two, this is what happens. 50 times two is 100. 11 times two is 22. It also looks like this. More commonly, it looks like this. Here's your fraction, times it by two. And we would say 22 over 100. This fraction is equal to this. This fraction is the same as this. And so why would we do all this work? Well, to show people that this is 22 over 100. I hope that line there doesn't bother you all so much. Okay, so we took a fraction that did not have a hundred and we changed it to a hundred so that we can put the denominator right there. Okay, not sure why that disappeared. All right, so now so the next thing we talked about was um, how answers are not as important as you're thinking, especially when we're, uh, especially with this assignment that we're about to do. So it was really important that you show your thinking and just give it your best effort. And so this is, this is the Desmos, we're talking about this Desmos assignment that you have to do today, that you have to work on today. Now in terms of norms, um, we did this in breakout rooms, and and then uh, we ended up talking about where do you see percentages in real life, and your classmates came up with a lot of awesome examples. In breakout rooms, a lot of us worked on number three and number four together. Well, some groups did just work on number three, and that's totally fine. So if we do number three together, Look on the left side at the peanuts and raisins from this new bag of trail mix. So now we have a new image. What percent of the trail mix here is peanuts? What percent of the trail mix here is peanuts? So what, so what your classmates did was count how many total there are first. And then counting all of these, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, there's 25 total. And the total is important because the total always is in the denominator, okay? 
Now, 3A says what percent of the trail mix here is peanuts? And it, it's a great thing to go back to the question. So we're talking about peanuts, and we want to know how many peanuts are there. Well, there's one peanut, two peanuts, three, four peanuts, five peanuts, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's 12 peanuts. So what percent of the trail mix here is peanuts? Well, we know, we know for sure we have 12 out of 25. But now we need to figure out percent. Because if we go back to the question, it says what percent? Well, to get to percent, we have to somehow get to 100. Because remember, percent means out of 100. Percent means out of 100. And so here, how do I get from How do I get from 25 to 100? Well, if you think of quarters, so this is one of my favorite ways to remember this. Um, to figure this out, how many quarters do you need to make 100? How many quarters do you need to make 100? Four. Right? Four quarters will get you 100. So if you remember that, you'll remember that it'll take four groups of 25 to make 100. Four groups of 25 to make a dollar. So 12. So multiplying by four here means you do the same thing on top. That's the rule for fractions. So then you get 48 over 100. So then you get 48%. Okay? 48%. So here you talk about how it's 48%. And that's it. Okay. Now, um, this one's at, this one was acting weird. So if you leave it like this, this is totally okay. Or if you just leave it like that, we'll accept it. And then here you just explain your process. Okay. So I hope this example was helpful. Um, really, just a reminder of what to do. You are trying to take care of this assignment. You're completing today's work, which is 6.22. And we gave you a lot of time to work on this, so you want to make sure you finish 6.31. So 6.22 is today's assignment. Please do that before the end of Friday. And 6.31, please finish that before the end of Friday. Okay, I hope this video helps. Um, another awesome thing, another one thing that I don't want to forget to mention is when you think of the symbol percent, let me draw this. We didn't talk about this in class today, but if you think of this symbol percent, how do you remember that percent is over 100? How do you remember percent is over 100? Well, you see these two zeros here? Write them here. You see this over here? Pretend that's a one, okay? So that's how you remember that percent is over 100, okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.